Hello everyone, welcome back to Altrius. Today we are here with another round of general knowledge and current affairs session with space technology related questions and answers. Let's get started. Question 1 Which was India's first satellite launched in 1975? The correct answer is B. Aryabhat. India's first satellite launched in 1975 was named Aryabhat. It was launched on April 19, 1975 from Rakustin Air in the Soviet Union. The satellite was designed to explore areas such as solar physics, aeronomy and X-ray astronomy. Built by Indian Space Research Organization, its successful launch provided crucial experience in satellite development for Indian scientists. Next question, which launch vehicle carried Aryabhat into space? And the correct answer is C, Cosmos 3M. The Cosmos 3M launch vehicle carried India's first satellite, Aryabhat, into space on April 19, 1975. The two-stage liquid-fueled rocket was operated by Soviet Union from the Kapustin Air launch site. Who is regarded as the father of India's space program? The right answer here is A. Dr. Vikram Saravai. Dr. Vikram Ambalal Sarabhai is widely regarded as the father of India's space program. He was a visionary leader and institutional builder who established numerous institutions including Indian Space Research Organization ISRO laying the foundation of India's advancement in space. Where is ISRO's headquarter located? The correct answer is C. Bengaluru. Next question. Which was India's first indigenous launch vehicle? The right answer is SLV-3. The first India's launch vehicle was Satellite Launch Vehicle 3, SLV-3 an all-solid four-stage rocket that successfully placed a Rohini satellite into orbit on July 18, 1980. This successful launch made India the sixth nation to have the capability to orbit its own payloads, marking a significant milestone in its space program. Which satellite was India's first remote sensing satellite? And correct answer here is B I R S 1A. India's first remote sensing satellite was IRS 1A, launched on March 17, 1988, from Soviet Union's Baikonur Cosmodrome. It marked a significant step in India's indigenous space program by providing Earth's observation data for applications such as agriculture, water resource, and disaster management. Which ISRO center is responsible for rocket launches? It is SDSC SHAR. SSAR. The Satish Dhawan Space Center SDSC SHAR in Sri Harikata, Andhra Pradesh is the ISRO center responsible for rocket launches. It provides the necessary infrastructure for rocket launches, making it the space port of India. Bikram Sarabhai Space Center, PSSC Tiruvendapuram, Kerala. It is the lead center for designing, developing and manufacturing launch vehicles. Lan Liquid Propulsion System Center, LPSC Bengaluru. It develops here. Uh, liquid and cryogenic stages are developed for the launch vehicles. 
which rocket is known as ISRO's workhorse? The correct answer here is B P S L V. The rocket known as ISRO's workhorse is Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV. It earned this title due to its consistent performance, reliability, and its capability to successfully deliver various types of satellite into different orbits for missions like Mars Orbiter Mission and Sundrayon 1. Which was world's first artificial satellite? The correct answer is B. Sputnik 1. The world's first artificial satellite was Sputnik 1, launched by Soviet Union on October 4, 1957. This surprise success marked the beginning of the space age. It was the first man made subject object to orbit Earth, providing data on the upper atmosphere and sparking a new era of scientific and technological development. Who was the first Indian to travel to space? C. Rakesh Sharma In 1984, Rakesh Sharma became the first Indian citizen to enter space when he flew aboard the Soviet rocket Soyuz T-11 launched from Baikonur Cosmodrome in the Kazakh Soviet Socialist Republic. Wing Commander Rakesh Sharma is an Indian astronaut and a former Indian Air Force officer. When was first rocket launched in India? It is 1963. The launch of the first sounding rocket from Thamba near Tiruvanthapuram, Kerala from Thamba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station on 21 November 1963 marked the beginning of the Indian space program. Who was the first man in space? The correct answer is A. Yuri Gagarin. The first man in space was Yuri Gagarin, a Soviet cosmonaut. He achieved this milestone on April 12, 1961, when he completed one orbit of art in the Vostok 1 spacecraft. Who was the first woman to go to space? The right answer is D. Valentina Tereskova. The first woman to travel to space was Valentina Tereskova, a Soviet cosmonaut. She flew on Vostok 6 in 1963, orbiting Earth 48 times. Which country sent the first human into space? It is D U S S R. Yuri Gagarin from Soviet Union was the first human in space. His vehicle Vostok once circled Earth at a speed of 27,400 km per hour with a flight lasting 108 minutes. Vostok's recent reentry was controlled by a computer. Who was the first man to walk on the moon? The right answer here is C. Neil Armstrong. The first man to walk on the moon was American astronaut Neil Armstrong on July 20, 1969, as a part of Apollo 11 mission. He was joined on the lunar surface shortly after by Buzz Aldrin, making them the first two humans to set foot on the moon fire. Which spacecraft carried the first human to orbit Earth? It is D. Vostok 1. Which was the first animal in space? The correct answer is C. Dog Laika. The first animal to make an orbital Space flight around the Earth was the dog Laika aboard the Soviet spacecraft Sputnik 2 on 3rd November 1957, 
Laika did not survive the mission. She died from overheating just hours into the flight. Although the Soviet government initially claimed she lived for several days, which was the first American satellite. It is a Explorer 1. Explorer 1 became the first, sorry, let's get back to this answer. Explorer 1 became the first successfully launched satellite by the United States when it was sent to space on January 31, 1958. A quick response to the Soviet Union's launch of Sputnik 1, Explorer 1's success marked the beginning of the U.S. space age. Which is the largest artificial satellite currently in orbit? The right answer here is ISS, International Space Station. The largest artificial satellite currently in orbit is the International Space Station, ISS. It is collaboration collaborative project by several space agencies and serves as a habitable research laboratory where astronauts live and conduct scientific experiments in space. Which Indian origin astronaut died in the space shuttle Columbia disaster 2003? And it is C. Kalpana Sawala. The Indian origin astronaut who died in the space shuttle Colum Columbia disaster was Kalpana Sawala. She was one of the seven crew members killed when the shuttle disintegrated upon re entry on February 1, 2003. Saula was the first woman of Indian origin to fly in space and made two flights aboard the Columbia, the second of which was her last. Which ISRO mission achieved a soft landing on the moon's south pole in 2023? And it is C. Chandrayaan 3. The ISRO mission that achieved a soft landing on the moon's south pole in 2023 was Chandrayaan-3. The historic landing took place on August 23, 2023, making India the first nation to successfully land a spacecraft in that region of moon. The mission included a lander module named Vikram and a rover named Pragyan which were designed to perform scientific experiments and analyze the lunar surface. The Indian Human Spaceflight mission is named Gaganayan, B. Gaganayan. The Indian Human Spaceflight mission is named Gaganayan. This mission, led by ISRO, aims to demonstrate India's human space flight capability by sending a crew of crew members into orbit for a three-day mission. It was originally planned to be launched on ISRO's SLVM-3 rocket in December 2021 and at present it is expected to be launched not earlier than 2027. Its goal is to send Indian astronauts to space and return them safely to Earth. And the orbit is uh, at 400 km and it will initially uh, carry a crew of three members and its significance is it is a crucial step for India to develop its own capability to send humans into space. Who has been the second Indian to travel to space? And it is D. Subhangsu Sukla. The second Indian to travel to space was Group Captain Subhangsu Sukla, who flew to the International Space Station ISS on Axiom 4 mission in June 2025, 41 years after Rakesh Sharma's history flight in 1984. Which Indian origin astronaut has set a new world record for the longest time spent in? space recently. It is B. Sunita Williams. Sunita Williams has spent 606 days in space. She will go down in history for her endurance, 
Her mission in 2024 Starliner was extended because of technical problems that added another 284 days to her record. This is India's first solar mission. Option B, Aditya L1. India's first solar mission is the Aditya L1 mission launched by the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO on September 2, 2023, with the objective of studying the sun from a unique vantage point at the first sun Earth Lagrangian point L1. This Indian scientist developed SLV3 and become known as Missile Man of India. It is C. APJ Abdul Kalam. The Indian scientist who developed SLV3 and become known as Missile Man of India was Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. He was the project director for India's first indigenous satellite launch vehicle and played a pivotal role in the development of India's ballistic missile and launch vehicle technology. Which country launched the first space station Salute 1, 1971? And it is A U S S R. The first space station was Salute 1, which was launched by Soviet Union on April 19, 1971. Where was India's first rocket launch in 1963? C. Thamba. When was ISRO founded? D. 1969 Which was India's first satellite dedicated to communication? It is INSAT 1A INSAT 1A was India's first telecommunication and meteorological satellite launched in April 1982 but failed due to a series of technical issues and was abandoned in September 1982, far short of its intended seven-year mission life. Built by Ford Aerospace, it was intended to provide combined telecommunications, direct TV broadcasting and weather forecasting services for India. Thank you. That's all for today. We'll come for next session of space technology with some more updated question and answers and these are all very important for all type of competitive exam and quiz programs please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more contents from altrius thank you best of luck for your preparation